OK, we can speak now to Kevin Alexander Gray, who's a civil rights activist and the author of The Decline of Black Politics from Malcolm X to Barack Obama. He joins us now from Columbia in South Carolina. Thank you very much for talking to us here at Al Jazeera. What do you make then of the decision not to charge Darren Wilson, the white policeman? Well, this is not surprising. It's very hard to indict a police officer. And the main issue just isn't about Ferguson. It's about the idea that in America, every 28 hours, a person of color is killed by a police officer or someone under the color of law. So the issue is shoot to kill and the police's power to shoot to kill. In some respects, it looks like the decision was a setup because the prosecutor seemed to act like a defense attorney. And even when he went on TV last night, his tack was to attack the media and to attack the credibility of the witnesses and to start out portraying Darren Wilson as someone that was just about to save a baby when he received a call about a robbery in progress. So do you suspect then that the 12 members making up the grand jury, those who were randomly selected from the community, do you suspect that they got it wrong? Well, as I said, it's hard to indict a police officer, period. Um, and then, of course, people that are chosen for grand juries by a prosecutor are most likely to be pro-prosecution. So we'd have to go back and look at the voir dire process for how people got selected for the grand jury. But uh, it only takes nine to indict. And there, there were, what, three blacks on the, on the uh, panel. So obviously there were some that were in agreement with Officer Dan Wilson. It seemed like his story was the only one that was given any credibility and all the witnesses and the community was discredited by the prosecutor who, as I said earlier, seemed to act as a defense attorney. They wrote out evidence slowly. They, they strung this whole case out so that people would, uh, would uh, be prepared for this officer being, um, being cleared of, 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 of wrongdoing. Um, you're in uh, South Carolina and you've clearly uh, looked at the issue extensively. Why is it then, do you think, so many uh, black, African Americans I should say, because it's not just men, is it? But so many African Americans in, are killed in police incidents. A, a disproportionate number of African Americans are killed uh, by police uh, every year. So why is that? Well, I mean, look, there are sadistic, racist police officers on the force who believe that black men in particular are something to fear, that black men are the image of Mandingo, which goes back to the slavery days. And of course, there's the drug war and the war on drugs that gives police the um, right, or what, is, what they think is the right, to uh, abuse people, to search cars, to search homes without warrants often. And um, once you mention drugs, they mention these Swiss cigars. Once you mention, as Dan Wentz, Will, uh, Wilson did, the, the demon, uh, something that's evil, something that's big and uncontrollable, thug image of a black man, then it, it takes away all your sense of compassion for black people. But it's about racism and it's about the power of the police in this country. Oh, and what about, uh, what, why, how do you account for the fact that so few uh, uh, African Americans are actually involved in the law enforcement sector? Why are there not more African American police officers? Well, I mean, obviously there's a problem in Ferguson where the majority of the population is black and, and the majority of people on the police force are white. Um, you know, it's a, it's a tough job, no doubt. But, you know, not many people want to go and, and go on the other side of that blue line to where they have to take a position against their community often. Uh, being a police officer, um, you know, it, it's... Um, it's not the most glamorous job. You don't have to have a high education level to, to get that job. Indeed, but, but uh, you've got but, you've got you double know, I, the, you've got double the rate of unemployment the um, amongst the African American community. You've got double the rate of unemployment uh, in comparison to the rest of the United States. I mean, but the, the answer isn't to go to work with the police department. The answer is to create job opportunities in the black and minority communities. And, and I mean, this is a bigger story than just Darren Wilson killing Michael Brown. This is a story about economics. It's a story about the new immigrants that are coming into minority communities, and it seems like they have a step up over the people that are living in the communities. It's about the drug war. It's about the prison industrial complex. And it's about this justice system in America that doesn't hold police accountable, that allow police officers to be judge, jury, and executioner, and extend the death penalty to the street 
often for crimes that if they were adjudicated, the person wouldn't receive the death penalty. But, uh, Mr. Gray, uh, you've got an African-American in the White House. Uh, we have seen a civil rights campaign uh, extensive... He's not the president of black America. He's not... He He's not the president he, of black America. He's not America. the president of black America, and he's made that clear. And he's made that very clear repeatedly. He's the president. He's the chief law enforcement officer of this country. He's going to come down on the side of law enforcement as the chief uh, operating officer of this country, the chief law enforcement officer of this country would do. So, okay. you know, there are a lot of things that have to happen in the community. We have to rebuild community structures. We have to talk about citizens' review boards. We have to demand that these officers wear body cameras so that we can know what they're doing. And we've got to question the policy of shoot to kill in this country. Kevin Alexander-Gray, thank you very much. I'd love to talk to you for longer, but unfortunately we're out of time. Thank you.